Josh, Josh. Yeah, <laughs> the Joshies. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, win number five. And Josh, corner number one, mate. Corner number one. How yeah. did you find that? Um, do you know what? It, it was a piece of cake, to be honest with you. A nice experience. Obviously, Josh is um, you know, a great fighter. Um, you know, it's a difficult because it's only a small level, but good experience, good experience. Uh, and you know, I enjoyed it. It was a. Uh, the problem was, it's a bit like waking a sleeping giant. And you don't really like not having a fight. Yeah. You know, and you did. You you forced him into having a real fight with you. Yeah. Um, and naturally, you're giving away a bit of size to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's a he's a ten stone he's plus guy. He's in good battle. shape. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we want you to be fighting at nine stone four when you're fighting for titles. Yeah. So realistically, it was always going to be a hard night's work, but we thought he was going to make it easy by by just moving around with him and. But you decided to win really hard lots of times. So <laughs> <laughs> I let him know we're there. If you I didn't, they'd have just put it on me, wouldn't it? So I had to let him know we're there, didn't I? I don't know. I think he might have just come for the payday and moved around and, and done, you know, what he does really well sometimes. Yeah. But yeah. you forced him to have an, a, a, a good fight with you. And you know something, that was six really entertaining rounds to watch. I think you showed little bits of everything good footwork, yes. good boxing skills, lovely jab on you, you know. But it was risky because you, you were moving it around and mixing it with a bigger guy. Yeah. It is a fine balance, like you say, you can just get the win easily. Uh, but you can try and attend and people who you've sold tickets to. And that's the fine balance in it. Yeah. People want to see a knockout when you've, you know, you don't realise the level that you're fighting it. And I guess if uh, I guess if Josh were fighting a, you know, for a title or like that were a, you know, a, an old contender, then you would have just keep, you know, told him to keep on doing what we're doing, boxing beautifully on that back foot, sharp shots and then go up. But you know, we to turn as well. What was he telling you? What was the best words of advice he gave you in that corner? Stick to that jab and straight punches. Exactly what that guy said to me after the fight. Lee he says, um, "Them straight punches, I couldn't do it. You're too fast. You're in and out, and I couldn't get there. Really, so <clears throat> what he said worked." Yeah. <laughs> but he's hard because he's a good southpaw. Like I say, I know his record so he's terrible, but his win on his record was against 6 and 0 uh, Harley Ben at the time, wasn't it? And some of them fights on his record, they will probably won this yeah. one. Yeah. Decision, will they? Yeah, that's because that's his nature of the beast, isn't it? When you're yeah. in the, uh, the way corner. Well, I think some people sometimes, at this stage of uh, you know, fighters' careers, a novice fighter, fighting a southpaw fucking throws wind up him. It looks mm. really comfortable in there. You do, you, you, you would have kind of forgot they were fighting a southpaw. Well, the you problem know, is, it? as you said in the uh, pre fight interview, you, you've been doing loads of rounds with Max Hughes. Exactly. So yeah. You can't get much better southpaw than him. He's probably the best southpaw in the country, and he's one of them, isn't he? So, yeah. Did all my rounds with Max Well, awesome. what we've got to get to now is, because I enjoyed it, I really enjoyed it. I think it was 59 55, was it? The, mm -hmm. the final scorecard. But I, I've heard a little rumour that we're coming back here, you're going to be topping the bill again, yeah. but maybe in your first eight rounder. Maybe so, yeah. Like I said to Steve, I want to get, I'm not getting any younger. If I've got it, then I'll go and do it, won't I? So that's how it's going to be. Because we, we said, and I said it, I think I put it in the title of the, the video we did, you know, it changes you training next to this guy and Max Hughes day in, day out for the last two years. Yeah. We, but the problem is, we're not getting a chance to see what we really can do until we get you in with That's someone yeah. in your weight. Yeah. It's a bit like um, Akeem Fears, uh, another talented super featherweight that we've got. Um, we matched him very, very hard early on with guys who were natural. I think he fought Ben Fields in his second yeah. fight, you know. Um, we matched him really hard. I think, actually, this is going to benefit you further down the line. Even though he's not doing you any favours just at present, when we do get you matched and we match you at the right weight, is it not going to be easy for you? Or hopefully? No, this is it. He said, you know, like you say, he's mixing with a decent calibre. As myself, as Max, he was really small in there. We're all similar weights as well. Um, some lads are heavier than him. But he's getting that kind of sparring. And I'm not sparring, sparring, but it's like he doesn't have to have too much of the four round schooling. Let's let him off the leash. Let's get them eight, you know, six rounds on the belt, them eight rounds on the belt. And it's not like fast tracking, but he's 27. So like 20. say, 28, yeah. so it's like, you want to start testing yourself and then have fights where you're coming away from it and thinking, actually, I could have done this. Like I said, he could have crucial, like, easy six rounds, not even getting a mark on him. But he chose to make it entertaining. Also, because he wants, wants to make it entertaining and see if I push this guy a little more, how much will he give back? And he certainly got a response, didn't he? He did. So what happens if he does that against a, 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 a Cardiff fighter or wants it as bad as he wants it? You know, that's where you really learn 
what you know you need to work on and where you are as a fighter. Yeah, well listen, hopefully that can, that might be the next fight and it might be back here. Yeah. Um Josh, we don't know, we've done a little of you before, we don't know what's happening with you. Yeah. Hopefully something we're gonna find out very soon. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much. Congratulations, Josh. Thank you. Five and all. Thank you. Take care, lads. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.